Hello guys, I'm Moira and today we'll be solving another physics problem. This physics problem is not from University Physics book by Young and Friedman, but from some other book. And let's start. So um, in the option A of this question, we need to find the vertical component of total angular momentum. And in option B, hmm, we need to find the um, angle between the axle, which is this thing here, and the um, total angular momentum. So if you want to do this uh, by yourself, you may stop the video now. I'll wait for a few seconds. Okay, now, for the vertical components of LT, what shall we do? Um, first things first, we need to find the um, total angular momentum, and that's simple because we only have to um, dis not distinct by mass, but uh, by position distinct two objects, and the angular momentum it will be simply um, we will simply cal calculate the angular momentum by this formula. You remember this formula, I hope. So, um, but about which axis? So um, we need to calculate it about the center of mass point. In which, in this case, we have this axle and this rod. These rods are lightweights, <coughs> so they do not contribute to um, any of the mass of the system. And we only have two 480 grams of um, objects. One here, one here. So our center of mass has to be exactly at this point. Um, where the symmetry is, is around it actually. So um, this is 21 centimeters, and this is from center of mass to 1, it is also 21 centimeters. So, <clears throat> um, while we want to calculate um, the angular momentum, we reach to this um, statement. And in this statement, we know this uh, position vectors, but we do not know anything about the um, velocity vectors, right? So uh, let us just first um, start with a reference frame. This is our reference frame, and the um, to the right we have plus x direction. To the upwards we have plus y direction. Um, to the Outwards of from the surface of the uh, board, we have plus z direction. So it's i, j, and k. Okay. Um, then we come to here. We know from um, this formula that we can find the um, tangential velocity of this. Actually, I'm just. Um, calculating tangential speed right now with this formula because we do not have any vector um, identity here but that means, uh, let's just first find the magnitude that means and by writing these we acquire this velocity not velocity but speed 1.08 meters per second so that means um, v1 and v2 because this is this axle is um, turning around this um, spinning axis with an uh, angular speed of 4.5 radians per second. These, and since these are, um, these have equal distance to the axis, they are equal. V1 and V2 are equal. Um, then we start 1.08 meters per second, they are equal. We come here. To find our total, we first write it in a longer, in an expanded form. So um, M1, we remember we need to um, calculate the L1 and L2 first, the angle of momentum of uh, object 1 and 2 respectively, then add them simply. So M1, this thing here you see, is the angular momentum of the first object, and this is of the second object, uh, m1 times r1 cross product v1. Now, um, what is v1? We, um, we are using this vector sign 
uh, the vector sign, we need to, we can um, agree on that, that the vector here is k, but it is what? It is plus k. Why? So, um, we define plus k to be out, outwards from the board, right? And our object is this, so if this is, um, if this axle is turning like this, spinning like this, it has to come out of the surface. So, um, it is plus k. And likewise, uh, V2 is going inwards to the uh, board, so it has to be minus 1.08k. Um, about the position vectors, we know that since this is our center of mass, the position vectors are like this. And this. R1, let's just say, say R2. So we simply write what is R1, as you can see, to the left. So it is minus i, 0.24 meters. Um, and what is its y component? It's 0.21j. As you know, this, this distance and this distance are equal. Then you simply write this. Um, I just the, um, put those in the same parentheses, the um, square parentheses, because M1 and M2 are equal, which are 480 grams. Then you calculate this and then you acquire the solution. So, what, what we see here is um, 0.2177 i hat direction, so its x component is to the um, positive direction with this magnitude, and with, with um, 0.2488 j hat, so it means to the um, upwards with a magnitude of 0.2488. So, uh, what we needed to find is with the vertical component of LT, which is this thing. So, um, in option B, yeah, you, you can see that from, um, since both of them, both of the components of L, the, the total angular momentum, are positive, we can dry, um, write or draw something like this, so it has a component, positive component. Um, let's just say L x and this L y. So we need to find this angle, which is simply our tangent of L x over a y, L y. That means this thing, this expression, and then we acquire forty one degrees. So. This is a solution of this uh, problem. If you have any questions, you can uh, write them or ask them in the comment section. Have a nice day.